In this video, we'll take a look at some of the advanced features of Mail. First, if you would like to compose a new email with an attachment, find your attachment and drag it on top of the Mail icon. Mail will open, create a new email for you with your attachment. If you have chosen a photo to attach, you can change the size of the photo. Use the pop-up menu to change the size. Mail will tell you the new size of the email. Earlier, we looked at using stationery. If you would like to modify the photos in your stationery, drag new photos from either Finder or iPhoto. With the photo selected, you can reposition it by clicking and dragging. If you would like to send this email to a group of people, you can do that using groups created in Contacts. If I would like to send this to my family, I can type family and hit return. Anybody that's listed in Contacts, friends and family, is added to this list. If you're not sure who you would like to send it to, choose Window, Address Panel. This will show you a small version of your address book. Select a recipient and choose To to add them to the To list, CC to the Carbon Copy list, or BCC to add them to the Blind Carbon Copy list. You can also drag a group directly from the contact pane into your email. I'll close this message and choose to save it as a draft. If I show all my mailboxes, I can see there's a new draft mailbox which has my email stored inside. Double click to edit the email. When I'm ready to send, I'll choose send after double clicking. If you send an email and things aren't working properly, choose window activity. This will show you everything going on behind the scenes in Mail. For instance, if I click Check New Mail, I can see in the Activity pane that I'm fetching new email from Mail.me and other things are going on. If something seems to be stalled, click the Stop button. If you see a lightning bolt off to the side, that means the Mail account could not connect. Click the lightning bolt and attempt to take all accounts online. If you suspect there's another problem, open the Connection Doctor. If something doesn't show up with a green light, select it and click Show Details to hopefully get more information. In this case, this account doesn't have a password. Under Mail, Preferences, Accounts, I can set my password for the account. Also in the Accounts pane, you can choose whether or not you want to store your sent email, drafts, and more on the server or store them locally on your computer. If you prefer to not store email on your computer, perhaps you have a laptop with a small hard drive. You can turn this off. An email will not be stored on your computer, but yet synchronized with the server every time you open mail. Keep in mind, you will not be able to use mail while not connected to the internet. Under the General pane is where you can set many options for mail, including how often to check for email, the badge icon in the dock, and if you want to send your invitations directly to Calendar. When creating new emails, if you have multiple accounts, you can choose which email account is the default email account. If you would like to create signatures, you do it from the Preference pane. First, you create a signature by clicking the plus button, give it a name, and then create your signature. Once your email has been created, you drag it to the appropriate account. Select your account and choose your default signature. When you create a new email from this account, your signature is automatically selected and added to the email. If you would like to set up a mail filter, let's say everything from Johnny Appleseed should go into a folder, 
you can do that using the preferences. First, I'll create a new folder called John Appleseed. Mail calls folders mailboxes. Under Mailbox, I'll choose New Mailbox. The location will be on my Mac. And I'll call it John Appleseed. To set up a filter, select an email that matches, choose Mail, Preferences, and under Rules, click Add Rule. If you have an email selected, the criteria from the email is automatically added to the rule. In this case, I want any emails from John Appleseed to be moved to that folder. So I'll choose From, Contains, J Appleseed. I'll make sure the description matches in case I need to modify it later. If I want, I can add multiple criteria. So I can set that any email from John that also has an attachment by choosing Attachment Contains Anything. I'll choose to move that message to the mailbox that I created. This asks if I want to apply this rule to emails that are already in my inbox. I'll click Apply and check the John Appleseed mailbox. I can now see any email from John Appleseed has been moved to this mailbox only if it has an attachment. You can quickly search your email by using the new improved search pane in Mail. For instance, if I type John, I can find messages that contain John, emails sent from people that contain John, or look for a specific mailbox. In this case, I'll choose John Appleseed. I can also switch to or from entire message. And I also want things that contain attachments. Not only that, but I want things from last month. As you can see, you can get pretty granular with your search. I can look for specific dates, whether or not there was attachments, and who they came from. Select a piece of search criteria and hit delete to remove it. Now I'm only looking for emails from last month or yesterday. You can save your search by clicking save and a new smart mailbox is automatically created. Smart mailboxes are denoted with a gear.